Energy focus for the week. We start this week out with a full moon in Gemini. It's actually a really beautiful energy coming in. It's the first full moon after the eclipse energy. So we've done all that work, the eclipse is out of here, and now it's an opportunity to really open up to a whole fresh feeling, vibration for yourself. When we have the full moon, we sit right between the sun and the moon, right? That's what full moons are about. So it's reflecting a lot of energy. We're able to look at all aspects of our life. So what does that mean for you? Where are you putting your attention? This full moon with the Gemini energy, sun sign of Sagittarius, is fire and air. So what is your mindset? That's the Gemini energy. Gemini helps us to look at both parts of ourselves, the shadows and the light. We need both. But it's your choice what you want to focus on. Do you want to just focus on the shadows? Or do you want to open up to the lessons you learn and focus on the light, the higher vibrations for your path? Energetically, that's what we want to do. Open up to the higher vibrations. It's easy to get caught in the old stuff, especially here we are at the holiday season, but it's a choice. You can choose to release all that old stuff and create new paths, new possibilities. That's the Sag energy. That Sagittarius energy is full of fire. It pushes us forward. It's explore. It can sometimes just jump right over. Nope, done that. Not going back. I personally like that attitude. I like that feeling and vibration of just letting go. It's an opportunity to learn, to move forward on your path. So we do go back and look at the intentions we set for the new moon of this cycle. And we really put it out more of what we want, right? That's what we do. We open up to the highest light possible under this full moon. We have two days, about two and a half days, to really open up to what you are manifesting. So it is a good idea to go back, look at what you wrote down for your new moon intentions, what happened. I know a lot of mine came forward. And so you add to it or you re-energize that energy for yourself. There is a lot of other cosmic stuff going on, but we don't have to get too involved with that. That's more of the astrologer's idea of what you need. But really what we want to do is lift the vibration. That's my work, energy. Lift the vibration for what you're manifesting, lift that feeling, find that neutral state. All right, with Gemini, we have both sides. That's what Geminis do, the duality, the twins. So you get to choose where are you focusing right in between. It is an opportunity to move forward on your path, to let go of old karma, all right? We talk about that a little bit during this full moon, let go of that old karma, set new possibilities, new infinite potential, lift the vibration, allow for gratitude to come in for all the many things you've done this year, right? Where, where What's going on? Where have you been? What have you brought in? All right, so maybe not everything worked out. I know I have a few things that are like, okay, didn't work, but cut the energy, let it go, cut those cords, send back the energy so that you can really appreciate with gratitude what you have done and allow it to bring yourself forward. So the energy is right there with us right now. It's a choice you get to make. Be sure to take some time to get quiet, to bring in the messages of your higher self. We'll actually call in our higher self and see what those messages are for you. Do a ritual, open up your energy, offer gratitude, burn away what no longer serves. That is exactly what we want to do under the energy of this full moon. So let's take a pause, breathe, Call in our higher self, call in the masters as we open up to this energy. Lighting some energy, lighting some fire, finding something to light for you as we call in and honor the sacred elements of life. Activating that fire energy, feeling that spark, see the colors, see when it turns to air. Air is the cleansing of the mind, cleansing of your space. Calling in the element of water. Let the water just rush right through you. Cleansing the emotions. Full moons can do that. Bring them in. Calling in the element of earth. Grounding. Centering. Taking a deep inhale. Breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy into you. Call it in. Inhale, expanding that breath up the body. 
And as you exhale, coming right into the heart, right into the deepest part, feel that connection. Your spirit, the greater spirit, know that you are loved, know that you are protected and guided. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body, and exhale all the way back into the heart. Taking a moment, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your higher self. Feel the higher self aligning, allowing for messages to come in for you. Inhaling all the way up into the higher realms. Exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth, opening up your channel, opening up that vibration, calling in the gratitude, feeling that lift, staying in that high vibration of light for you. Taking a moment right in the very deepest part of your heart. Taking a moment for these intentions to open up, asking the higher self, what are my messages? Listen, feel the energy coming in, pulling some cards to help us understand this energy right now, inhaling and exhaling, charging them with Reiki, all for the highest good. Seven of fire, fire is that sag energy. All right, this card means represents like, see that one crystal out there and all the others here. Sometimes we have to stand in our own light and we may feel people projecting at us. Lots of times it's jealousy, comparison, but stand in your fire. Let go of all this other energy. This is what this energy is about in this full moon. Let go of the old energy. Cut those cords. Stand strong in that passion, that fire that represents who you are. That's the Sag energy coming in. Ooh, beautiful cards. Wheel of Fortune. All right. Luck. Take a chance with yourself. Move out of that old energy. Don't get caught in old karma. Don't get caught in old feelings. Cut them away. Energy follows intention. Raise your vibration. Take a chance. The wheel's turning. Take a chance on your path, your light, your manifestations. Set that new energy for you. The star... All right, this is like having that renewed faith, not in the old energies or the old beliefs, but that you can break through. Look at the butterfly on her chest. Look how she's poised, ready to go. The star, the cosmic forces right above her. This is the opportunity. Right now, as we move through the rest of the year to open up to the highest light, all that you've been working on, let it open up for you. Daughter of Earth, I love her. She's one of my favorites. She reminds us to just color our rainbow any way we want. Earth is being creative, opening up new possibilities. Think out of the box. Color your rainbow any color you want. This is an action card. This helps you to on Earth manifest what you want. But be creative. Don't do the same thing over and over. Find new ways to open up to this fire within you. The wheel's turning. Use the energy. Renew that faith in the possibilities that are coming in for you right now. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, noticing how this helps you to set those intentions for your path, your soul. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, grounding with this energy, feeling that third chakra, the solar plexus, your power. Open your heart with possibility, with courage, with strength. Focus that third eye for your path, your light. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, grounding, centering, as we go to close, take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for all the many blessings you already have. Gratitude is an ascending vibration. Allow it to open up for you, to raise your vibration for your highest self. Notice the messages coming in. Take a few moments, journal, write down, put it into action.
inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Want to learn more about your higher self and connecting with your guides? Join me on Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Link is in the bio to get the link on Zoom for my master class, Connecting with Guides, Angels, Masters, Teachers. How do we do it? How do you connect? Come join us. Have a great week. Happy full moon to your spirit. Namaste. Namaste.